I'm Celeste. I'm a sales assistant. It can take you five swipes to get a door down. Taylor does it in two. All right, all right. Don't mess up. We tried to be inconspicuous, but who are we kidding? Four white guys and a sledgehammer in an all-black neighborhood. Everybody knew we weren't there to sell encyclopedias. The drug location was a second-floor apartment. We figured the dealers would be armed, and there was always a possibility to use their guns. I was ready to roll. I liked the action, and I loved working with the guys in my squad. They were all good cops. Two swipes and red. Let's do it. Police! Open up! I got Mike, I'm shot! I've never been that close to someone being shot before. I swear I heard the bullets going into Paul's body. Oh, man. Get him out of here! was my partner and my best friend and I was listening to him die there was no other way to describe it common sense was not the dictate of the moment I became crazed what I was doing was motivated by anger I should have waited for backup but all I could think was these creeps shot Paul Stairs, I could hear what I hoped was the ambulance in the distance, and I prayed that they would save Paul. Throw it out now! Throw it out! Slide the gun across the floor! Now come out with your hands up! You're gonna shoot me! I know you're gonna shoot me! Come on out now! So I'm thinking, this guy had already shot my partner, and there was a good possibility this was a bluff, and he had another weapon. Don't shoot, okay, man? Don't shoot. Paul was dying. This man had shot him. If he was going to be aggressive, I would have less than a split second to react. I'm coming out, okay? I'm coming out, okay, man? I had four bullets left. If he opened fire, I would have to make one of them count.
We hurried to the hospital and learned that Paul had died on the operating table. We sat there staring at each other. Everybody white as a ghost. Then about an hour later, the hospital told us they had brought Paul back. He was critical, but he was alive. Paul got a little better and a little better, and then he became his same loudmouth self. It took three weeks for him to be out of danger, and all Philadelphia was calling us heroes. But all I could think of was the child. of that incident, I made my decision. I no longer felt comfortable wearing a gun. And in 1982, I retired as Philadelphia's most decorated police officer and later became chief of police in Portland, Maine. I'm now an advocate of restricting the availability of concealed weapons. I'm not saying we should ban all guns. I'm not saying we should ban hunting. I'm just talking about waiting periods for licenses, background checks, child safety. All I'm talking is common sense. We'll be back in a moment with U.S. Marshal Bill Scott and the highway prison break. Top Copsy is brought to you in part by Advil, Advanced Medicine for Pain.